Greetings, Una D of O2 Evolution, uh, Light Worker, Divine Feminine. And I wanted to share with you today some grounding techniques, especially if you live in a cold weather climate like I do. Grounding gets harder. So in the winter when you want to ground, or anytime when you want to ground and you don't want to go outside, you can use a grounding crystal. The best grounding crisp crystal also for protection would be a black obsidian. And black obsidian is good for you because you're able to ground, you'll feel protected, you'll feel guided, and you'll feel secure. It supports you. Then there is a snowflake obsidian, which is also very grounding, protective. It helps with polarities. So I like these. They're a good one to carry in my pocket with me and roll. And then if you're a light worker living in a city, I would suggest rhodonite. Get one that's pink and black because the rhodonite is grounding and heart-centered. So it'll connect your heart to your root chakra and you'll be able to get a better uh, center for yourself and you'll feel protected and guided and you'll be able to guide others better. So those are my three grounding stones that I recommend. Black obsidian, snowflake obsidian, rhodonite, and the pink and black rhodonite is the best for this. I'm also wearing some black onyx earrings, if you can see them. Black onyx is a good grounding, protective rooting chakra, root chakra stone as well. So that is my few tips on grounding. You'll want to be grounded, especially nowadays if you're feeling off, if you're feeling that you've lost your vision or your way, or you're just feeling very disconnected. Ground yourself, and I suggest you do it on a daily basis. Have a wonderful day.